I'm waiting to name the name. This certain person has been lying, scheming, cheating all the way. And this person being Mohammed Fires, Aka Mr. Shades. And what has transpired over the last couple of months has been truly and utterly disgusting. Not just against me, which to be fair, actually, he's taken it lightly on me, but against my friends as well. And I felt like I needed to say something, and I hope he gets to watch this as well. Because at the end of the day, I ain't scared of you, Mohammed. None of us are. If you want to carry on trying to dox people and twist your little minions into thinking that you're some sort of Christian saint, ex-Muslim, you ain't. Now, all this came about because we called in your accountability. And that's what this is all generally about. And I'm going to mention a couple of other names here as well that I think questions should be asked. And this all revolves around the whole PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe side of the movement. Now, the one thing that we I think we can all agree on is that when the establishment, i.e. the Conservative, Labour, UKIP, Lib Dems, whatever, they put in their expenses, and their expenses are called into question about why they put their expenses in. Now, these are paid people, and we have the right to question that. Now, we have the likes of FIAS, being the main one also being called into question because he has received donations of people now if you receive a donation of a person because you are putting out a reason why you want those donations i.e. clicking up a PayPal link on every single live feed that you possibly can you are therefore accountable of how you spend those donations you are asking hard-working people, working-class people, to donate money to you to further not just your cause, but the cause of the movement. Now, at the end of the day, I couldn't give two shits what you spend that money on as long as it is on to further the movement. If you're going out live-feeding, on obscure marches or whatever it doesn't matter as long as you can count for every single penny on train tickets hotels food battery packs anything like that that is involved in that then that is fine you have to be held accountable but the problem occurs when the likes of me Glenn Beecroft Josh McMean, Seamus Healy, Andrew Machen, and a few others have called this into question, and all of a sudden we get it turned on us. Now, I have it on good authority that questions have been asked of us after last weekend, and we, and we were actually defended by some people, I'm glad to say. And then we get what Fires done last night to Spence. Fires, I'm going to say this very politely, you're boobies. Scratch that, you're a cunt. You are. You're the one that I've seen it on the screenshots that said, you've got to make sure that a liar is very good. And you've got to make sure you keep track of your own lies pot kettle black by any chance you are an absolute fucking disgrace total and utter disgrace you've been outed that many times you can't even keep track of the amount of times that you've been outed and yet still people follow you and then you try to dox them you try to do it with me 
You've tried to do it with Spence, you've tried to do it with Glenn, you tried to do it with Josh. You've even travelled, we've seen the videos, up to Cumbria as some sort of threat type thing. And then, as the, the cherry on the cake, you try to bring in... <laughs> Sorry, just laughing at the message of Brent. <clears throat> and you try and bring in the top people in the movement. You try and bring in the likes of Tommy Robinson, Richard Oman, to name a couple of others. Because you think you're in the right. No, you're not. The shroud that you have had around you is falling. Or should I say the dark glasses is falling. You're one dodgy motherfucker. It's as simple as that. Never, ever, ever trust somebody who never takes the glasses off. Especially their sunglasses. If you can't look them in the eyes, then you don't know whether they're being honest or not. And then he has also the cheek to actually say, Oh, I know. Let's have a look at your body language. What's my body language saying? Am I lying? I'm looking straight at the camera. That's a fair point actually, Josh. It, it could be something to do with that. Perhaps he does need a little bit of help. And I'm not going to take the mickey out of people who need help like that because I've been in similar situations in the past involving mental health and things like that. But at the same time, he is losing track of things drastically. So I'm warning everybody who ever comes out into the movement and is brave enough to come into the movement and stand on their own two feet and they come across Mohammed Fayyaz, don't get involved with him. He is not to be trusted. It's as simple as that. Now coming back onto the accountability thing, I am going to call out a couple of other people.